Hello there, I'm Di Coke and this is my March edition of Di's Prize Unboxing with the things that I've won in competition. So um, I'll start this one just with a few little prizes to tell you about. Um, I went to Ryland's school quiz last week, so the Dorothy Stringer quiz night. Uh, it's quite exciting because even though Ryland's in year eight, he's still never actually been inside his school because of COVID and all the restrictions and everything. Um, so yes, yeah, so we went for the quiz night. We had a table of 10 of us and we won the quiz, which was brilliant. Um, I wasn't as clever as the rest of the people on my team. However, it got to a tie break situation um, and I had thought, right, if there is a tie break, what are they likely to ask? when was Dorothy Stringer born or how old is Dorothy Stringer? So I had researched it and found out that she was born, well, actually Google told me she was born in 1894. Um, so that's what I answered, but actually she was born in 1893. So there you go. But anyway, uh, we won the quiz. So between 10 of us, we won a bottle of Prosecco, uh, but also they had a raffle and you know how I love a raffle. Um, if you're raising money for someone, uh, it's a brilliant way to win prizes because you think, well, you can donate to charity or the non-profit or whatever you're donating to and you've got a chance to win prizes. Um, so I spent £20 on tickets and they're raising money for a school minibus at the moment and I won two prizes. Um, so I've won a £50 voucher to spend uh, at the bike repair shop, which is fantastic because that is somewhere where um, Rob is constantly going because all three of us have got bikes that need repairing. So that's great. And I've also won um, two tickets for a Saturday comedy night at The Forge, which is a comedy club in Brighton that I've never been to yet. Um, so I was really pleased with that and we had a really good fun night out. So that was fab. Good start to the month. Um, got some other stuff here. This one here, Amazon envelope, which you can see I already opened because I get loads of Amazon deliveries and I hadn't realized it was a prize coming. Um, but it is a prize and it is a book. So um, this is the Monsters Club book. So it's like um, sort of, what do they call it now? It's like youth sort of fiction. And this is from Orthodox Press on Twitter. And this was a World Book Day competition. There were loads of those on the go. So I'm not sure if this is for Ryland or maybe for his cousin Hannah, but I'm going to check it out. And one of them, I'm sure, will enjoy that. Uh, that was just a simple retweet competition. Um, one here as well which was another easy twitter competition i think there were a lot of winners in this one it's from family football coach you have won a family fc full coaching program um now this is something i, I don't know i wonder rylan might be too old for this but more importantly um, my husband rob is a football coach and it's really useful for him to see what's out there for coaches so i think this might be uh, worth him logging into and seeing what kind of content it's got and it might be helpful for him because he also coaches under sevens now as well as under 13s so family football no family fc that is if you want to find them on twitter and on the internet um another one here and i need to say thank you to um annette in Lucky Learners for this. It's a 15 pound Sainsbury's gift card. And Annette took a photograph of a Mother's Day uh, promotion in store, which was with Thornton's. And it um, it was basically 500 prizes, instant win competition. And the idea is that you spend your 15 pound and you buy your mom a bouquet of flowers for Mother's Day. So thank you very much, Annette, for sharing that. It was really kind of her because she didn't actually win. And loads of Lucky Learners went on to win this voucher. So it's really kind of her to share. And I'm actually, I'm traveling down to Wales to see my mum today for two days, just before Mother's Day. And I'm thinking, actually, I think I will just get her some lovely flowers in Sainsbury's and she can choose them while I'm there. Right, so, and the last one I need to tell you about, just before I rush off and get my train, is um, this one here, which is from Picture House. And, uh, which is unusual actually, because I've recently won with Picture House. I've won the year's membership with them. So, but this isn't related. This is actually, it's another Twitter prize. Which is funny really, because I don't win that much on Twitter. I'm more about Instagram lately. Um, but yeah, this was another Twitter retweet competition and it is Hatching, which is um, a horror DVD. Uh, and this is something I read about and it just sounds really interesting. So um, it's about, yeah, it's one day, a 12 year old gymnast, after finding a wounded bird in the woods, she brings its strange egg home, nestles it in her bed and nurtures it till it hatches. The creature that emerges becomes her closest friend and a living nightmare. Sounds quite exciting, doesn't it? So I think this is one um, 
I'd quite like to watch it with Rose cousin Hannah because she's really into horror films. So yeah, that will be going to her and then hopefully I will get to borrow it afterwards and watch it. So, uh, oh, sorry, this was from um, Grimfest is the, uh, the Twitter account that did this giveaway. So thank you very much to Grimfest for that one. And that, I believe, is it to start off March and I will be back soon. Hello, I'm back. It's already the end of the month, so the end of the unboxing, but I have got quite a few parcels here to open with you. Um, I'll start with a little one. I think I know what this is going to be. I think it might be quite underwhelming. Um, okay, this is from Passawa. Congratulations. Thank you for participating in our Passawa Sunset Contest. We are happy to offer you this Passawa prize and hope you will enjoy it. Don't get too excited now. Look at that. <laughs> it's a mobile phone holder. One of these hooks that you stick on the back of your phone so you can hold on to it when you're taking your selfies. So there you go. The top prize in this one was actually a holiday. So it was worth entering just in case. I don't actually know if I heard of the holiday winner. Um, you had to buy a bottle of the passion fruit liqueur, um, which I used in many passion fruit cocktails and mixed it with Prosecco. Um, which was delicious as well. So yeah, there was loads of those to be won. So I'm sure lots of people watching will also have won one of those. Thank you, Passoa, Passoa. Um, okay, I've got this one here. Unlock Playfulness. This is the Oreo promotion, um, which you buy a packet of Oreos and then just enter online. And this one was the instant win, but there are prize draw prizes to be won in this one as well. Um, you've unlocked an amazing prize. You've won an Xbox Game Pass three month subscription. Um, and at first I thought, oh, that's not much use because Ryland's not got an Xbox, but he's got a PC. And because it's also Microsoft, you can use the Game Pass to install games on your PC. So he used that at the weekend and he's um, playing a few games online on his PC. So that's quite a handy prize for him. Um, and as I say, that was just an instant win. I think it's still running for a while longer, that Oreo one. So check on the Compass shopping list and you'll find out if it is. Okay, right, this, this prize here. Okay, it's like, it's heavy and soft. I think I know what it is, and I think it's something I've never won before. So let's find out. Okay. Right, here we go. <laughs> Are you excited? Oh, I opened it upside down, look. It, yeah. The other way around. It is <laughs> Miracle Grow Peat Free Premium Bulb Fibre Special Plants Compost. Look at that. Fantastic. So, and to go with this prize, I also got a separate delivery. Uh, oh, there's no surprise with this one. Here it is. <laughs> And this is just, um, I don't know actually, because they've covered up the sticker. Is it just, oh, it's all-purpose compost. So miracle Grow all-purpose compost. Um, yeah, so this is the first time in 25 years of comping that I've ever won compost. Com comping compost, uh, which is quite exciting, isn't it? Um, I think now, I might be wrong. I've got, I've got two Amazon parcels here, and I think this one goes with that prize so i'm going to risk it and open this because i think it might be part of the same prize it's weird when the parcels come from amazon because i have to open my amazon and just double check what have i actually ordered lately is it just something that i've bought um so but this one is it's quite heavy and feels liquidy so i do wonder let's find out oh no <laughs> This is another prize, so let's move on and I'll tell you about the Miracle Grow one first because this is a different prize. Um, so the Miracle Grow competition was with Cultivation Street on Twitter and this is a week um, every year, I think it's at the start of March, and they celebrate community gardening. Um, and it was just, uh, they had a few prizes to give away of a Miracle Grow bundle. Um, it was just a retweet, um, but I did reply and, and I said that 
just what a great idea it is and I spent um, when I was chair of Ryan's junior school we um, spent money on redeveloping we got a student in and she planted loads of stuff out in the tiny they had a tiny, small little garden outside the front of the school and we got her in to do some planting there and the kids actually got involved in helping her out and it was really lovely to do so I definitely support any kind of community gardening but anyway so that was maybe a relevant response which hopefully helped out with winning that prize um, but the compost I think I'm going to give to my mother-in-law Pam because her big project this summer is um, she's doing a bit of a garden makeover say so that she's 86 bless her so we'll probably be giving her a hand um, but she wants to um, plant lots of lavender just at the, the sort of the, at the the bit nearest to the house so the compost I think will be really useful for her and hopefully I can give her the bulb compost as well and she can plant some bulbs um yes so that's cultivation street thank you very much to them for that prize um this prize though is something completely different this prize is Rubicon so this is four cartons of Rubicon mango juice which oh, which is lovely uh, and I wonder then if this this Amazon parcel is also related to the Rubicon prize let's find out about that one you see this is unusual because I, I generally don't have surprise prizes because I know that they're coming but I'm not entirely sure what is coming so this is let's see this one is oh, <laughs> Miracle Grow right okay so two liquidy prizes I got them the wrong way around so miracle grow all purpose obviously to go with my compost and to complete my miracle grow prize and then the ruby calm here this goes with this big prize here which i will wrestle up to show you so nice big one okay um right where's the where's the way in here we go So I've uh, just got a delivery note in, no letter, um, but I know what this says because it did say on the label. Right. Bubble wrap time. Oh, can you guess what it is yet? Oh. Oh. So it is, this is this is a big crock pot so it's a slow cooker um, very nice and this is part of the Rubicon prize and this um, Rubicon did a big promotion to celebrate well Ramadan and I found it on um, AG Bar have a website that I check regularly for TNCs because obviously Rubicon do a lot of purchase necessary promotions occasionally as well and text competitions. So I was checking that for the latest competitions and I spotted that they had this Instagram giveaway and they had several influencers, um, family bloggers and um, recipe accounts on Instagram giving away crock pots and Rubicon and I thought, oh, I'll go over and enter that. And it was with Nilly Dahlia on Instagram and she was just asking what you would cook in your crock pot during Ramadan for your iftar meals in the evenings. Um, and I just got back from Oman and I was thinking about delicious Omani curries and dolls. So I said I would cook a lovely dal in my crock pot. Uh, so there we go. And this is quite a big crock pot. And I wonder, it might go away as a Christmas present because there's someone in the family who um, does a lot of slow cooker meals and I think she would love this. So I might be put, popping that one up a lot for her because it might be a little bit too big for our family of three uh, but a lovely prize anyway and thank you so much to Rubicon and to Nilly Dahlia so while I'm talking about competitions on social media I must let you know that I've recently um, recorded two videos one of them is Twitter tips Twitter tips for golfers and one of them is how to use TweetDeck to find low entry competitions on Twitter. Uh, both of those are on YouTube and I've got blog posts to accompany as well. I hope they're really useful. I have been winning more prizes on Twitter over the last few months. I've probably won as many in the last three months as I did in the last year. Um, just been putting a bit more effort in to try and find those competitions. And I think also companies got a little bit nervous 
about Twitter when Elon first took over and now they're coming back on and running a few more giveaways. So make sure you're on there, especially on event days. So if there's any sort of events happening, and I think there should be quite a lot of competitions hopefully coming up for the Easter weekend as well. So make sure you're tweeting those. Um, one more prize to tell you about then, which is, uh, it's a nice one actually, it's just come into my inbox and um, I won it last week on Instagram. Just another simple prize drawer, it was with Respectful Eggs and they teamed up with Rocker London who make bags and luggage and you just had to comment and I was one of the five winners and I've won £100 to spend at Rocker London. Um, which are lovely, they're really nice bags actually. So, uh, well, I'm going on holiday to Korea this weekend for, for a fortnight, so I won't be spending it until I get back from my holidays, but I'll look forward to spending that voucher. So I'm really chuffed with that one. So that is it for this month, for March. Um, as I say, I'm away for two weeks in April. I don't know how much comping I'm gonna be doing realistically. Next month, I think it's gonna be just a bit of a wild adventure in Korea doing lots of mad things. So do keep up to date with me on my Instagram if you wanna see what we're getting up to there. Um, wishing you lots of luck for April and for the Easter competitions. And um, just don't forget to check out Lucky Learners Group. And of course, if you've got a copy of my bootcamp book, check out Boot Compers. Um, because I've got my um, Twitter Q&A will be there too soon. And that's it. Good luck for next month. Bye-bye.